Hey everyone, well it is a uh, beautiful sunny eastern Montana day just a couple of days after the last uh, snowstorm. So the ground is covered in a lot of fresh snow out here starting to melt and uh, now that hunting season is over I have uh, permission from a, uh, several kind folks to film uh, on their uh, property out in eastern Montana and so uh, Today I'm going to spend some time in uh, one of the prairie dog colonies out here uh, sitting around and uh, looking for prairie dogs and seeing what kind of uh, footage of these really, really incredible animals we can get. Um, so I'll try to kind of fill you in on some uh, info of them and do some uh, filming and see what we can explore and uh, find out for the day. So these sets of tracks down here are prairie dog tracks. If you uh, move into them may be able to see sets of like paired claw marks down there. I think this one is a fairly good example. So right now, uh, most of the prairie dogs in the kind of immediate vicinity are down in their burrows hiding from me because I just got here. And you can actually kind of hear them squeaking. Um, but uh, I'm doing some filming of uh, prairie dogs kind of further out in the distance. So you can follow the prairie dog tracks through here, moving up this way, further up, then going straight to one of their burrows. This wind really makes this difficult. I'm really hoping it dies down a bit. It's still a beautiful day at least. I've got a prairie dog just sticking his head out under the burrow. So I'm hoping to get some points where the wind dies down and get some, get some nice shots of him. It's really quite interesting. They're still uh, keeping, keeping watch, right? Keeping, um, appraised of the situation around him and seeing uh, exactly what happens, assessing the danger. Gotta say, even though this wind is making it really, really hard to get some um, you know, solid footage of them without having it just kind of jump up and down like this nonstop, they really are just such awesome animals to watch, right? So even, even if the footage that comes out of this isn't necessarily the best I've gotten, um, it's just having them out and about on this kind of beautiful sunny day uh, and kind of sitting still for me to try to get some footage of them is just such a great experience. They really are just, just marvelous, marvelous, wonderful animals. I love seeing these trails that lead to the prairie dog holes. You just see them very purposely booking you right in that direction and into their little burrow there. It's gotta be just so cozy warm. Like, you know, it's kind of chilly out here just as a person with all this winter gear. And the fact that these kind of tiny animals are able to survive through the winters and run around out here and keep themselves from freezing when it's a lot harder to be a smaller creature when it comes to the ability to thermoregulate. Great, great footage here. One of the prairie dogs uh, alarm calling. I'm hoping the wind dies down enough to make it usable, but this the, the angle and uh, close up, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Amazing animal. That's what I was hoping for. Died down enough to have it quite still. Let me go ahead and leave the guy alone. Some of these burrows can get really quite tall. It almost reminds me of like a termite mound or something where it starts to just like really get this three dimensional shape out of the ground quite large hole there. That's nifty. I just can't get over this chorus of squeaks. Just literally surrounding me in just like every direction. Too funny. It's 
kind of interesting being out here watching the different responses of the prairie dogs to me as I'm walking through the colony. And you can really see uh, what, you know, ethologists are now, you know, less skittishly calling animal personality, where some of these prairie dogs are very, very bold. Like, they don't care if I walk right past them. They're just kind of sticking out on the burrow, and I'm sure if I were to actually uh, make a move, they would dive down. But others, they see me from 40 feet away, they'll dive into the burrow almost instantly. So just some are much more skittish and on guard, and some are a lot more willing to wait it out and see what's around. And you know, that personality is obviously driven by all sorts of aspects of what's going on with their uh, brains and physiology. And just like humans, right? You have some people who are super aggressive and some people who are more timid. You have some people who are beautifully soft-spoken like myself and some people uh, who are you know, a lot more uh, yelly. <laughs> so, uh, you know, with, with uh, uh, that, it's just really interesting to see those same kinds of dynamics at play when I'm walking through this prairie dog colony here. Super neat. So as I covered in the previous video, prairie dogs are kind of in a weird spot where a lot like the bison, there are these ecosystem engineers where they can impact the character of this entire ecosystem, shape the way the grasslands are formed. And while bison also have a PR problem amongst some people, they have, I think, a lot more of a base of support than prairie dogs do. You know, ranchers in particular see prairie dogs as a pest, and I can understand why, right? I've, as somebody who has uh, broken his camera inside a prairie dog hole, uh, having a cow uh, you know, stepping into it and breaking a limb and all those kinds of things is definitely not something that you want. But at the same time, I think that it's just really amazing um, the impacts they can have on ecosystems and how just kind of important they are uh, to structuring an important part of the plains. And uh, I'm glad that the people that allow me out here, uh, you know, have prairie dogs on the property and um, kind of let them let them do their thing. So here. We have some prairie dog scat on the ground. And in fact, all throughout this spot, there are scat remains just completely surrounding this burrow. It's pretty interesting. Got a beautiful shot lined up of a prairie dog just kind of right at the horizon. Gorgeous blue sky behind him. Really just quite fantastic. I'm honestly amazed by how many prairie dogs are out here. I'm so used to having just like these little sections of colonies and just kind of having them disappear. Out on the section of the ranch, it's just, you look at either end of the horizon and there are just prairie dog holes just absolutely everywhere. It's really pretty amazing. And just like hearing these like echoing choruses of these squeaks all pointing out to each other, the strange human wearing a blue jacket wandering around out here, really quite awesome. Well, clouds are starting to come out and get a little bit denser, but I think that's gonna be just about it for me today in the video. Uh, if you haven't yet and you enjoyed the content here, please go ahead and subscribe down below. I really had a blast. I honestly just absolutely love prairie dogs. They're such a, just such an interesting creature that has such a considerable impact on the landscape around. And, you know, just thinking about these animals that now occupy something like 5% of their historic range I'm grateful to live in a place that has these animals across the landscape and um, I'm glad to have brought them to you. And until next time, wander in wonder.